Hi, Jenny here. Today we are going to make three bean chili. Let's get started. The right, first thing we're going to do is um, plug in the crock pot. I'm making this recipe in the crock pot today. And believe it or not, I've actually forgotten to turn it on <laughs> at one point making something. So turn it on to low and we'll put our ingredients. This recipe can also be made in a pot on the stove. But we are going to start with two cans of tomatoes, diced tomatoes. I like to use the um, basil, garlic, and oregano. Again, you can use any tomatoes that you'd like. And I put those in there as a good liquidy base. So our two cans of tomatoes. You're going to use two onions. I've already chopped up some onions before. I buy a bag of onions and then I just chop them all up and throw them in the freezer for whenever I'm ready to make a meal, like our chili. So we're going to do two onions. And then two cloves of garlic. I like to buy um, minced garlic, so it's all ready, all cut up, ready for you to go. Again, you can do your own garlic if you want to. Calls for two cloves, so that's two te teaspoons. And then we're going to do um, some corn. I like to do half a bag of corn. Depending on how much corn you like, you can add more, you can add less. I like corn, so I add a lot. Salt and pepper to taste. Ooh. Ground cumin. One tablespoon of that. Two tablespoons of chili powder. Again, you can also add more or less to taste. Sometimes my family prefers that I add more. We're going to add one teaspoon of oregano leaves. And a quarter teaspoon of um, cinnamon, if you'd like. And I will include the recipe down below in the description. So you'll have that. And then we're going to need some pepper, which we're going to chop up now. All right, this recipe calls for three different kinds of beans. Again, you can use any type that you'd like. I like the garbanzo beans. Start with those. Each can of beans comes with its own liquid. So you want to drain each can of beans. You can do it all together because they're all going to be mixed together anyways. Also black beans. And kidney beans. I'm going to rinse these. We're going to let them drain while we cut the pepper. So you want to rinse them until the water runs clear. You can kind of see probably it's dark and brown in the sink. those drain for a little bit. We are also going to cut up one full red pepper. I've already washed this with soap and water so it's good to go. So with your pepper you want to make sure all those little white seeds that are in there, those you don't want in your recipe whatsoever. So we're going to make sure that we scrape all those out as um, we cut. And I'm going to go get my beans. I'm going to put that in. Then you just want to mix it up a little bit. 
And then we're going to let this, well, it's on a low setting, so you can let it cook pretty much all day. It can go four or five hours. It's the wonderful thing about a crock pot. Um, or you can put it on high, and it'll be ready within an hour. Basically, all these ingredients just need to heat up so that they're warm enough for you to eat. Okay, our chili has been cooking for about three hours now, so it is all heated through. So all we're going to do is mix it up a little bit more. And then you can throw it in a bowl and get ready to eat. Yummy delicious! You can put some cheese on top, or again, and sour cream or any other toppings that you may like. So we're going to do that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any suggestions in the comments below for anything else you'd like to see me do. Again, I'll leave the recipe also down below. So I'm going to go enjoy my dinner. Keep it positive. Go make it a great day. Bye-bye.